Hello and welcome back. I'm on Forza Horizon 3 again today to try out some more of the new DLC cars that I got hold of when I got the season pass recently to sort of make the game more interesting for a bit. So today I'm going to be looking at some of the 4x4s that came with the season pass. As you can see out the window there, out of the festival, I'm at Blizzard Mountain to try out the 4x4s seemed like a good place to test them and I haven't driven Blizzard Mountain for a while. So this Land Rover I don't expect to be terribly fast, I haven't modified it at all. I am playing on the wheel today, I didn't mean to go back into the festival. change for you. Go. Nice bit of interior view. So we head out onto the snow. Not going to go terribly far in this Land Rover, otherwise I'll never get a chance to drive uh, the Bentley Bentayga and the Jeep Renegade, I believe, are the two. Is it a Jeep Renegade? It's a Jeep, anyway. We got a bit sideways, even even in an old Land Rover. Right, let's head back outside again. We've got snow on it already. Actually, if I take this down to the lake, will it drift? <laughs> Look how much it leans over. Now, I really should know where the lake is by now. Okay, it looks like it's back that way. Hey, who needs roads? Yeah, we're going, we don't need roads. No, it's not back to the future. Where's this lake? There it is. Question is, can you slide a land rover? The answer is not really. Will it make the jump though? 35 miles per hour, surely that's not enough. Okay then. Can you drive up that side? Not quite. So this Land Rover's not very fast. I mean, who would have known it? So a little bit sideways. We're going a bit faster this time. 50. Still not enough. Although we almost made it <laughs> up the other side. Oh. Well. That's how to get an aerial view of your car. And get entirely stuck. Well, that probably means it's time to try out a different car. Can we fast travel back to the festival and get the Jeep out? And then we'll go for the Bentley last as it's the most powerful. It'll be the fastest as well. Right then, where's the Jeep? 
There's the Bentley. Don't know if you saw it, I'm flying through these so quickly. So many cars. There we go. Oh, this has no roof, which is obviously perfect for the snow. Look at him in his woolly jumper. So that's going to make all the difference when you've got no roof on your car. Oh, that was close. Eighty miles an hour. Well, it's already beaten the Land Rover. Oh, a bit of ice there. Shouldn't be anything a four-wheel drive system can't handle. Hence that. Right, let's see if we can head over to the lake. Maybe this will make the jump. Oh, it won't if I do that. Yeah, the lake's down here. You can see the big empty space on the map. There we go. Now is the jump. It's back this way, isn't it? So the Land Rover didn't make it at 50 miles per hour. We're doing 70. Okay, at 70, you just about make it and almost roll over. Well, for a few cheap seats, you just <laughs> have to plant your foot on the pedal. Otherwise, there's not enough power to get it sideways. Anyway, that's enough sliding about in the lake. Let's head this way. It's clearly... it's not cold enough yet. <laughs> After this much time spent in a jeep with no roof. Oh, that's one way to drift on here. Can we jump this? Oh, you can. Sometimes if you fall off things like that, it resets you back to the road. Well, I didn't think you could drive through those trees. Just as well you can. Oh, that's the road. I just drove straight over it. Oh, there's a wall there. I think we missed it. I think if I follow this road, I'll end up back at the festival, which will be good, because then we can get the Bentley. Oh, just scraping that barrier there. Yep, I can see the... Horizon Festival just popping up on the map there. It's rather strange how the map's in the wing mirror. I've not had that on any other car before, I don't think. 
It's like a little sat nav sticking out of the car. Right, so we go this way. Oh, snowman. Realise quite how tight that corner was. And we're back. We actually survived a little run round Blizzard Mountain and back, unlike the Land Rover, which got completely stuck. Right, let's find that Bentley. Obviously, I chose it in Kingfisher blue because what other colour would you would you have on a Bentley? Now it's not necessarily the colour I'd go for. It's just such an amazing colour, and it goes well with the snow as well. And it's the only car of the three that's supposed to be paddle shift which is what I've been using let's have a quick look at this from the outside the power is unbelievable after those two feels like a supercar now oh well it sort of is it's a super SUV basically isn't it a sports SUV the lake somewhere this way. Back to the interior. Oh. There we go. Oh, it really does drift. Can we go through here without hitting either side? Not quite. It's like slow motion drifting on ice. It's a really good place to learn how to control it, he says, spinning out. Unless I just meant to go 360. But yeah, you've got so much more time to react to it slightly somehow. Yeah, where's the jump? Can we make the jump? Surely we can in this. We can in the Jeep, we can in this, there it is. Not if we just end up doing donuts. Don't do it again. I don't think I've got enough to run up. No, oh. wasn't going to make it. Right, let's go for it. Obviously, going straight from reverse to first gear is entirely fine for the engine and gearbox. Yeah, at 90 we're going to clear it nice and easily. Let's try and drift at 94. Come on, slide. Nah, this isn't going to end well. Okay, I've just about kept it on the lake. Let's see if we can take that jump a bit faster on the way back this way. Over 100 would be nice. 
exactly a hundred. Still a nice little jump. Right, let's go this way like a little deep. Bad little drifter. Oh, that jag's just gonna kill us. I think we went this way with the jeep, didn't we? Whee! It's so easy to drift four-wheel drive cars in snow, you just slide around. It's so controllable as well. Until you hit that ice, which is what those little cones are showing. There's some ice there, that's the blue patches on the road. Can't remember quite which rare route I took back. But we ended up on this road. So we can pull it in front of this Cadillac. No. Just got beaten by a Cadillac. Oh, I've leveled up. What, did, what have I got? Ah, oh, I missed one. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Sorry about that awful clicking. That's the paddle that you have to press to slide across through the tabs. Uh, right. What have we got? Oh, wow. I was hoping for a car, but okay. 30,000 will do. Oh! Classic BMW just pulls straight out. Oh, I'm going to take that same snowman out again, apparently. Just to prove a Bentley is just as good at killing snowmen as a jeepers. Take a little shortcut here back to the festival. Oh. Clearly I meant to do that. Surprised I didn't take that fence out just as well I didn't. Setting my route to the rear nearest race. Why? Oh, there is a garage here, I thought. Right, I've just crashed into it. Now I can't see. Yeah, I thought the Horizon Festival was just the middle of this junction, randomly. Well, it is. That's where you enter. You can't pull right up to the garage. But there is actually a garage there, which I never really Anyway, that'll probably do it for today's video. A little look at these three off road, well four wheel drive cars. I know they're not new anymore, but they're new to me. So I've just got hold of the season pass. I'm bring a bit more interest back to the game until Horizon 4 comes out. Which is supposed to be announced at E3 this year, so in June, I think it's the 12th of June, they're gonna announce more details of Horizon 4. Anyway, for now that's been testing out these three cars. I've enjoyed taking them for a spin on the snow here. I hope you have as well. Like if you have enjoyed it. Uh, and subscribe for more car gaming content soon.